Memphis Woodfire Grills. Today we're going to show you the procedure for resetting your Wi-Fi should your grill get disconnected from your uh, service. Uh, there's two different procedures we're going to show you today. First one is going to be the simplest to start with. The other one's going to have a little more, uh, a few more steps involved. Uh, we are working with our meat grill here in, in an iron uh, installation. But uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to power cycle the grill to get that restart of your Wi-Fi and go through the Wi-Fi screen to reconnect. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, controller module out and then take it through the steps on what we do next. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the controller box out. It's just snapped into place with a couple of clips here. I have access to the back of it. I'm going to be taking the power cord out here in just a moment. I'm just going to set it right here in the, in the opening. And Eric, if you can come in here, I'm just going to touch the on button there. Menu, next, Wi-Fi, and I'm gonna turn Wi-Fi off. Now with it turned off, I'm gonna pull the control box out. I'm not gonna turn it off here, but I'm gonna go ahead and take the power cord out. Like so. And we're gonna let the box sit for one minute. Uh, same thing on a cart mount. You're just gonna pull the power cord out from the bottom underneath the shelf back here after our minute is up. All right, I've completed my one minute power cycle time. I put my cord back into the uh, receptacle there. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the controller here. I'm gonna touch the on button. Menu, next, Wi-Fi. I'm gonna turn Wi-Fi back on. I wanna immediately hit the setup button. So right now it says connected, but it's going to go ahead and go through that provisioning process and go back to connecting, setting up with Wi-Fi. From here, we'll go to your phone and complete the setup process. From the home screen, select settings. Select Wi-Fi and look for Memphis Grills. Search for access points in your network. Select the network close to zero for the best signal strength. The connection screen has closed and you're now connected. Let's go to the app. This is your dashboard. I'm gonna to go to grill settings. I'm gonna adjust my temperature, submit those changes and hit okay. Now we'll take a look at the grill. Just completed the uh, setup with the app. If you take a look here on the controller, uh, status is now connected. I'm going to go ahead and back out of the screen here. Back to our uh, main screen there. I changed the temperature to 245 degrees, which is what is shown here. I've got uh, one bar of signal strength uh, from the uh, Wi-Fi here at the office. Um, it's a little bit on the weak side. It's minus 76. You want to get as close to zero as possible for a strong uh, signal at your grill. But we're good to go. We're back up and running connected. All right, if you reset with uh, power cycling. Um, if it's not connected to the network, you're gonna see a flashing, steady flashing green light. Uh, we are connected. Um, so, but essentially over here on the left-hand side of the uh, Wi-Fi card is the reset button. I'm gonna go ahead and push that. And now we have rapid flashing, but now it's, it's automatically went back and connected to our network. Visit our website for a complete list of LED color and frequency of flashing to determine what mode the Wi-Fi card is currently in. In some installations, you're gonna need more room behind the grill and a pretty easy process to get that access. Uh, previously shown, we took out the back brace, the back panel, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually slide the grill forward in the cavity to provide that room for uh, regular maintenance or to get the Wi-Fi card for a reset. Um, easiest thing to do is to remove the uh, pans on each side. Uh, I'm just going to grab the back edge of the grill here and just grab a new here. And just like that, we can slide the grill forward for um, easy access to the back side of the grill. Some installations, you may have two bolts that are holding your brackets in place on your uh, surface for when you come out. But uh, just like that, you can pull it out, uh, do the work we need to do, put it back and uh, just reverse the uh, steps of the grill to uh, take the grill apart.
Okay, getting the back panel on, there, just think of it as uh, two steps. We've got three tabs at the bottom of it. I'm gonna go ahead and locate those tabs at the back of the grill. And uh, just getting them lined up like that. They're seated now. I'm just gonna push the panel all the way forward and then I'm just gonna lift up gently to get that J-hook engaged on top like that. That's the tip for putting the back panel on. Everything else is gonna go back together just like we did when we took it apart.